Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tosh, I'm a self-taught developer, and I wanna talk about Llama 2 today. So Meta just released their latest version of Llama, and this model is completely open source and has a lot of improvements over its predecessor. And I wanna talk about what's different compared to the previous model. So Llama 2 has 40% more data. It was trained on two trillion tokens and the context length is double from the previous one. So now it's 4,096 tokens. And they've released several different models of different sizes. So you can see 7B, 13B, and 70B. Later on, we're gonna look at 7B and 13B and test them out. In the benchmarks below, they've tested all the different open source models against each other with the latest version of Llama as well as the previous version of Llama. And these different benchmarks are different types of tests like math questions, trivia questions, true or false questions, and different types of evaluations to evaluate its reasoning ability. And so in almost every single metric, almost, Llama 2 outperformed its predecessor as well as beating out all the other open source models. So you can see on the right hand column, this is all Llama 2, and it's performing really well and much better compared to the other open source models. So it's very exciting because all of this is open sourced. You can download the model, you can fine tune the model, and there's different size parameters as well. So I'm going to show you like a very easy way to play around with 7B and 13B. I don't know how, but Andreessen Horowitz, as soon as this thing was released, they've hosted the models on Replicate. So if you go to replicate.com and just type in A16Z, it's a A16Z infra, you can basically use Llama 13B and Llama 7B as APIs and just incorporate them in your app or play around with them. So let's just click 13B and it will show you how to structure the prompt, the types of parameters you can change, and these parameters are similar to the ones in OpenAI, the temperature, top P, the repetition penalty. So you can play around with this here and you'll note that you're gonna need to format the prompts like this. If you don't format it like this with a user prompt and then an empty assistant prompt, it's gonna produce some weird results. So be mindful of that. And they've also got some examples you could take a look and play around with, which I would highly recommend. And so if you want to incorporate this into your app, all you have to do is click API and follow the instructions listed here. So this is so simple. I've gone ahead and put this in my app and sort of to play around with. So just follow these steps. As you can see, there's really not that much code involved at all. And this will allow you to use 13B and 7B. One thing though to note is there is some latency. And if you want to see just how much latency there is, you can actually go and see how long the API requests take. So I think we could do that in the dashboard. So you can go under runtime and you can see how long it's taking. So 7B is much faster than 13B. However, the results aren't as good. And uh, I've just done some benchmarking here so you can get a sense of it. It's between six and 20 seconds for most of these, it looks like. And the reasons why you would use this model, I guess, is because one, it's all open source, you can fine tune it, you can play around with it. But two, also, for whatever reason, 13B, playing around with that, the model sounds a lot more human-like, and I found it to be great for a good voice to use in blog posts. So it's definitely something I would check out if I were you and explore. I'd love to get access to 70B, because I'm sure that's even better than 13, but I don't have it yet. So yeah, let me know what you think. Play around with this. I think it's really cool. It's really easy to set up. And yeah, thanks so much.